friends my name is ansh and welcome back to my channel this video is about science for class 3 topic human body respiratory system skeletal system muscular system digestive system circulatory system and excretory system are some of the organ systems of our body human body is made up of many organs that do different kinds of work these are known as their functions based on their location organs can be of two types external and internal some organs can be seen with our eyes they are called external organs our sense organs such as eyes nose ears and skin are examples of external organs the organs which cannot be seen with our eyes as they are located inside our body are called internal organs these include brain lungs heart stomach liver etc internal organs are generally soft and delicate some internal organs such as brain lungs and heart are protected by bones internal organs let us learn about the location and function of some important internal organs brain it is located inside our head and is protected by the skull it helps us to think it sends messages to the different parts of the body and tells them what to do heart it lies on the left side of the chest cavity it pumps blood to various organs of the body blood is carried through blood vessels stomach and intestines we eat food through our mouth it passes through the food pipe then it reaches the stomach from the stomach it enters the small intestine and then to the large intestine the stomach and the intestines are located inside our abdomen and form a part of our digestive system these organs break down food into simpler substances that our body can use this process is called digestion kidneys there are two bean shaped kidneys inside our abdomen they filter the blood and remove waste from it these wastes are then removed from the body in the form of urine liver liver is the largest gland in the body It is located in the upper part of the abdomen towards the right side of the body. It has many roles but the three important ones are as follows. First, it produces an important digestive juice called bile juice. Second, it cleans the blood. Third, it stores energy in the form of glycogen. Bones, bones give shape to our body. There are 206 bones in our body that form the skeleton. bones protect soft organs for example the skull protects the brain and the rib cage protects the heart respiratory system the respiratory system consists of a group of organs and parts that help us to breathe the nose windpipe and a pair of lungs are the organs of the respiratory system nose we breathe in and out through the nose Breathing in is called inhalation. Breathing out is called exhalation. Tiny hair and mucus are present inside our nose. The hair filters the air that we breathe in, and thus prevents dust and germs from entering our nose. Mucus also traps dust and germs. Windpipe. From the nose, the air passes through the windpipe and enters the lungs. Lungs. Lungs are located inside the chest cavity, one on each side. In the lungs, oxygen is absorbed from inhaled air, and carbon dioxide is removed from the lungs as exhaled air. The air that we breathe in has more oxygen, while the air that we breathe out has more carbon dioxide. how does breathing take place a dome shaped sheet of muscle called diaphragm is present below the lungs when the diaphragm contracts and moves downwards 
the size of the chest cavity increases. Thus, the air from outside rushes into the lungs through the nose. This process is called inhalation. Then, oxygen passes from the lung into the blood and is further carried to all parts of the body. Carbon dioxide from different body parts is passed to the blood and gets carried to the lungs through the heart. Then, the diaphragm relaxes and pushes upward. Thus, the size of the chest cavity decreases. So, the air from the lungs goes out through the nose. This process is called exhalation. Deep breathing. Deep breathing is a simple exercise that ensures that more oxygen is taken in during inhalation. It is practiced during yoga or meditation. The following are some advantages of deep breathing. It helps in getting rid of harmful toxins from the body. It helps in reducing stress and anxiety. It helps in relaxing the body and mind. Process. Sit down comfortably on a mat. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Let the air completely fill the lungs. At the same time, let your belly expand a few inches. This will allow the lungs to expand completely. Try to breathe out fully. During exhalation, the expanded belly will collapse and go in. In this process, the lungs contra contract fully and all the air is exhaled out. Air pollution. Pollution is the addition of harmful substances into our environment, making it dirty and unsafe for plants, animals and human beings. The harmful substances that get added in the environment are called pollutants. When these harmful and undesirable substances are added to the air as a result of different human activities, it is called air pollution. Causes of air pollution. The following are some of the causes of air pollution. Smoke as well as harmful gases released from factories and industries. Harmful gases and chemicals released from vehicles. Smoke released due to burning of waste such as garbage, rubber tires, crackers and woods. Harmful effects of air pollution. Air pollution can have several harmful effects on living things as well as non-living things. It can cause respiratory diseases such as asthma and lung cancer. It can cause breathing problems, coughing, watering of eyes, dizziness, irritation in throat and nose. It can harm plants, crops and even monuments and buildings. Excessive air pollution can cause changes in climatic conditions throughout the world. Reducing air pollution. Air pollution can be reduced in the following ways. Plant more trees. Also, take care of plants and trees already present in your neighborhood. Avoid burning any waste products. Always dispose garbage in a responsible manner. Use bicycles and public transport as much as possible. Also, use non polluting fuel in your vehicle and get them checked regularly. Exercise 1. Name the following. Exercise 2. Choose the correct option.
exercise 3. Choose the correct option to fill in the blank. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Bye.